Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Don't Draw campaign. This is episode 21. We picked up from turn 93 in the winter season 208. Uh, we're still stuck on the same turn as we were at the beginning of last episode because we spent quite a bit of time sieging down the, the city of Xiangyang. Uh, it's the town now because we raised it for the achievement. Uh, so we captured our second emperor seat. Uh, we're one more emperor seat away uh, from victory, but we also need to... Uh, have 95 uh, counties under our control. We have about half of that. Uh, maybe a little bit more if we include our vassals, but we're far away from it and we have to get through a lot of enemies. Uh, so I would say we're definitely not halfway there. We're very far away from the end. Um, but uh, we do have our armies moving in the right places. And with Liu Bei's uh, Emperor seat gone, he's no longer an emperor, so it's easier to get a peace deal with him. Which is what I would like, uh, to be honest. I don't want to keep fighting everyone on the map. We need to have peace somewhere. Um, but I think that fight ends our turn. I think all our armies have moved. Uh, that's a rebel farmer. And we're just going to be facing off with Yuan Shao soon. Hopefully he dies. And then we can get an easy peace deal with his son. Uh, but we'll see. Let's continue. Alright, Gong Sun army is finally at our iron mine in Taiyuan. Uh, we're losing this one. It's fine. We're just going to delegate this. In hindsight, I probably should have sold it to Yuan Yao. That way we don't lose these 15 points. But it's alright. Alright, uh, new turn. We lost uh, Taiyuan. That's not a surprise. We got an armor and a weapon and a horse. All in the same turn. Great. Okay, we have a gold armor. Uh, instinct. That's nice. Heavenly Sword is very good. Two horses, actually. Silver, brown, and uh, bronze, uh, red. Okay, we can definitely equip those on a bunch of people. Uh, let's see. Not much going on here. They're still slowly approaching Taiyuan. I don't want Yuan Yao to be wiped out. Um, it's pretty dangerous for him. Because Coral's armies are coming down. They're chasing after us. That's what's going on. Uh, we need to help them defend this city. We could try to ambush. And I realize, and I realize, wait, why can't we ambush? Can we ambush now? Why? There's no reason why we can't ambush here. We had over 25%. That's really strange. Okay, we'll just go closer to the to the south part of the city. We can night battle these armies away. Um, we kind of lost vision here, which is a little scary. We're very healthy, though. I mean, we can ambush here. There we go. No one's close. We're fine here. Dashu, okay. Extra cunning is great. Um, do you guys need horses or weapons or armor? Uh, Zhou Tai can pick up the gold armor. I don't mind. And the silver one can go to Xiao Jie, perhaps. He already has a silver one. Um, you will take this then. Too bad we don't have enough weapons. We can give him the instinct horse now that we have that. Two brown horse. Um, resolve. We've been using a lot of sentinels. There we go. And we'll give one of them. Well, they both have it. Okay, who else doesn't have a horse? Surin, does Surin even have a horse? Okay, and she'll get a resolve horse for now. She's still level 1. She's not that strong yet. She'll get there. Okay, the north is still problematic. We gotta force someone to surrender. Uh, we should probably check diplomacy soon. Tal Tal's army is coming. Alright, Surin can get some experience picking up this free lumberyard here. We'll just delegate this. 
No night battle. Deltran doesn't have it. That's fine. Alright, intimidation above 70 again. We'll just occupy. Alright, that's not bad. We're gonna just cut them off by taking the city. And we can probably force a peace treaty before they get to the weapon craftsman. She can probably reach it in two turns. So we can try to sign the peace treaty next turn. But we can't reach the city in one turn. So we could do it this turn too. It's the same thing. I don't think I can take anything else. I can take Nayang back. But we don't need to fight Liu Bei anymore. See, he's, he's, it's possible. It's not impossible to get this peace treaty. Ooh. Oh, Liu Cong. Yeah, he's trying to get rid of him. Yeah, we can just dump him some items. It's very doable. We can pay him off, right? Get him off our back. Then he marched all this way for nothing towards that weapon craftsman. Yeah, that free us up quite a bit actually they wasted so much time then then we can actually focus on uh Tai Mao and the other armies around I just gotta make sure that they don't have any vassals they do but not really relevant vassals then uh let's see where are they all right so they're part of yeah they're also part of the coalition with Shi Xie who I don't want to fight because we can peacefully resolve that Liu Dai hasn't declared war on us so if we get a peace treaty we're good Any willing partners? Oh, Kingdom of Wu also? That's shocking, actually. Hmm. We can give him a lot of things. Land. Hmm. We can return his lumberyard to him. And if you really want the trade port, I don't mind either. He already has the other two pieces. It's not worth very much for us. Right, that's such an easy deal for us to get. Alright, we can wait on this. So we know we can peace out with Liu Bei. So Liu Bu's pretty free. Cavalry's not fully healed. But I think we can crush them before he replenishes. The Jade Mine should be full stack. No, they're not. They're half stack. They just ranked up, I guess. So this is probably the best fight. Hmm. Yeah, I think this will work out. If we can maintain peace with Liu Bei, who was very friendly with us before he became Emperor. And then work our way to resolve the issue up north. We can turn our focus to the central plains and south. Speaking of the south. Our cavalry army is still here. Sun Ce is moving up. Oh, okay. Then we have to stay put. We can't let them come back and cut us off. This army isn't very strong. This is a very gimmick army. We need to be careful here. Let's see, what other army do we have? These are the brand officers. They should probably drift south with this group into the tool maker to do the debuff. Okay, so I feel like the only thing left to do is get that piece and then have Lu Bu start attacking Tai Mao. We can also look at our spy real quick. Uh, Sun Jian's spy could try to become military appointment here. At least put an effort to it. And we probably need to skew the points a little bit. There we go. Alright, so... This army. Guojia Heavenly. Wait, hold on. Heavenly Sword. He can't parry with the robe, though. 
But that's fine. We don't really need... Uh, melee evasion is really good, though. Who has a robe? Deltran technically have a robe. So if she has the heavenly sword, the set is active. She has such a bad horde. We've been treating her terribly. My gosh. Okay, there we go. Now her cunning's above 100. Poor girl. Well, this whole army has plus 10% um, melee evasion. That's really good. So peace first. Well, our military might is at peak without injuries. We'll give him some useless land. We don't really need it. Not bringing us much gold. And we'll give him an item, I guess. We're gonna give him one food. That's probably the easiest. One food, and then we can even get some money back if we want. It should be at least 1.5. Yep. Oh, he doesn't want to pay us. He doesn't want to pay us. That's fine. I'm going to assume he has no other items for us. We'll just give him plus one. Doesn't hurt us. Yuan is not going to like us. No one's going to like this deal. Except for him. How come Shixie doesn't like it? Shixie is his coalition partner. Anyways, we're doing it. But, wait, wait, wait. One thing to consider. We're still on his territory. So we need military access. Okay, that's impossible. So we'll be trespassing right away. Hmm. Slight issue, huh? Slight issue here. We could also wait a turn. But I don't know if that actually helped us. Uh, sorry, guys. Let me think. We could also just completely pull this army back. We can recall this army. After the deal. Or else the deal is going to be harder to negotiate. Alright, let's just trespass. Who cares? Alright, let's get this done. I'll give him one food. And then we'll give him two pieces of land. Or we can give him a lot of cash, too. How much is um, 5,000 gold worth? Oh, not a lot. Okay, never mind. Take the other piece of land then. Yeah, that's the only thing we can really offer him. Alright, we're just going to get this deal through. Now we can technically coerce him for more deals. Alright, we can try to get a... Okay, that's not going to work. What can we do with you? Okay, that's negative 100. Military access. Crate, vas crate vassal? Oh, this is worth it. If we can vassalize Liu Bei, we get all his territories counting towards our victory condition. Okay, okay. Now we gotta seriously consider some options here. We can give him a lot for this. Hold on. I'm gonna try to find a way to make this work. We definitely want to vassalize him. We can also wait a few turns uh, for him to like us better. All right, we're gonna crush this. Our yeah, intimidation should be fine. First, just gonna peek. Peek. I don't think they have any other armies.
I can try to attack this one. Force a retreat or something. If we have night, we do have night battle. So we could play a trick here. Right, this way we don't have to fight any defensive structures. Because we'll be fighting on the open field with them reinforcing. And we can also night battle it. Which would be really easy. No, let's try to fight them all together. I don't think we need night battle. Mm. Definitely safer. But this way we draw them out and we never have to fight the actual siege. And let's just do this. We can we can definitely win this. Alright, we're loaded up in here. I would say we have a super favorable situation here. So we know the reinforcements coming from here. We have deployables. Do you guys understand what we're going to do? We're going to burn them as they come onto the field. And then they have to run through spikes. And arrow towers. Yeah, this is insane. Like, that's not fair. Let me think. How do we do this most effectively? We definitely want to wipe out the reinforcement first. The garrison army is the strongest. Because they are encamped. So that's that's their handicap. The main force of Tai Ma, which is actually really small, is stuck in the middle. And we're free to deploy everywhere. So we can deploy waiting for their uh, reinforcement army. Which is pretty insane. Yeah, we can just get them kind of ready like that. Guard the sides. We don't even have to use our trebuchets for this. We can have our trebuchets closer to the actual fight in the future. We can hide them for now. And we'll move them out after we finish up with the reinforcement. And we'll assault from this gate. Now we just need someone to throw, throw a fire to burn that up. Probably Lu Bu just because he um, has a faster horse. We'll get both of them ready. Guo Jia can sit in the back. All right, this should be interesting. Let's go. Alright. I misplaced one patch. Alright, we gotta go around. Yeah, their range units are still a little bit nasty. We gotta just target those down. We also should have grouped these. Alright, we should probably use our generals too. Doesn't want to duel. They have a lot of infantry here. It's okay. We're ready for this. We can hold this group off. Uh-uh. Oh, they flanked us! Ooh. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Shangba, 
你尽可做得更好。若是仅凭三言两语便可免除刀兵，倒也罢了。杀呀！快点 ！Get them. Uh, they're running into the traps. We shouldn't try to damage ourselves. There we go. Guo Jia is very strong. Let's not forget. He has a very nice weapon. He just has, he just has no health to back it up. Now right, we're just going to hold the line here. No rush. Let them charge us. No, no, no issues. Oh, the city garrison's out. Oh, we've been ignoring this side. All right, we just took our tribuches out of the fight, but that's fine. We don't need our tribuches to win this. Let's kill Tai Mao. All right, we'll spread these guys out. Li Bu can definitely kill Tai Mao. Where's Guo Jia? There we go. Let's kill these generals. Did we kill him? Yes, we got him. Ah, uh, we got a group of cavalry on us. Can we pull someone over? All right, no need to chase those guys. Pull them out. Where's the other two guys? All right, these two boys. There we go. That should end this fight. Kill the strategist. Alright, should be over, right? Who still has morale? We're gonna chase for a little bit, just so that we don't have to fight that many units uh, once we get to our siege fight. So see you guys at the end. Alrighty. Wasn't the cleanest fight, but it was an interesting fight. I completely ignore the fact that they could charge out from the back. Ooh, got a nice item. He has nothing good on him. I don't really need him. We'll stay friends. We'll release him. We need replenishment, though. Now, this should be an easy fight. Right, we're just going to delegate this. Alright, back in 96. We'll occupy. Alright, now we can rest. Time all is pretty much destroyed. We can try to work a deal with Liu Bei. We want to vassalize him, to be honest. We can wait a turn. Maybe capture Nyan City and then trade it to him. Or, I don't know. I don't know if waiting a turn is good or not. Let's see, what's our current situation here? He hates us and is hating us more. So maybe now is the best time to get this done. 49 is not that bad. Is he happy to give us? No, he's not. Not happy. Let's see, we can throw this in. We just got the diviner. It's good, but it's not super good. We can definitely afford to give it up. 
three morale's not that great. We don't really care about this. I'll throw in a clay fish. 29 points. We can give you a tool maker. We can always try to get it back with coheres. There we go. Vassalized him. Uh, we don't even need him to pay us anything. We could save something. Now we can't give him food anymore. We've already been trading him food. Can't change that. Is he willing to pay us anything back? Even this out a little bit? No? Alright, we'll just throw that in for free, I guess. Uh, I just don't like the fact that he's getting 2.2 for free. Alright, he's going to get 2.2 for free. What can I do? Can you believe it? Liu Bei has bowed down to us. Alright, mediate peace. Any more peace needed to be mediated? That's it? Look at us now. We are the Celestial Empire with Liu Bei, Yuan Yao, and uh, uh, Jia Long's old faction. It's his wife and the Han Empire as our partner in an empire. Uh, I don't know how that worked. I just tried it. And it is empire subject. He's our subject. I don't know if that counts towards um, the final victory. But the map has significantly changed uh, with Liu Bei joining us. Look at that. All that extra lime green here. And we don't have to fight that and also count towards our victory condition here. And we can spend cohesion points in the future, or intimidation points, to cohere uh, some of the territories back if we really wanted some. Ah, uh, this relieve a lot of pressure. Now we just have to force Yuan Shao into a piece, and then we can kind of completely focus ourselves on the south. Alright, that's a very successful turn, I would say. Oh, why is she mad at us? First of all, he leveled up. Good for him. We'll just go the top route. Why? Just too high level? You're not that great. We can send her out as a spy, I guess. That's kind of the option here. Wait, how do we get rid of this? Okay. Can't even reach that X. Um, we'll just send her out. I don't really want to fire her. We'll send her out towards Gongsun Sun. Now you're spying on Liu Bei, but I don't really need you to spy on Liu Bei anymore. We can kind of see if we want to join factions with him. We will pick up Liu Bei and Guan Yu most likely, and Zhuge Liang, and Zhang Yan. It's tempting, right, to just annex him. But right now I need his armies. I need his, his army counts on the field to fight for us. Yeah, I don't think we're going to annex him. It's going to hurt our economy in terms of um, corruption as well. We'll wait. We'll see if it develops to a point where it's going to help us. Yeah, pretty happy with where things are. We just got to get buildings and reforms done. Reforms. Uh, this is an area where we're falling behind on. We. I want this. I really want this level four state workshop for uh, entrepreneur uh, industrialist. That's right. So that's important to grab. And now we can finally get industrialist. Even though Unding should probably start switching over to corruption reduction, to be honest. Chang'an can go straight up for income because there's other ways for it to uh, reduce its corruption. Same logic in Chengdu, I believe. I believe there's other commanders nearby that can help it. Or maybe they should self-help and also help the ones around it too. Probably. Corruption's a little bit high right now. I think we should start reducing corruption. It's hurting us a bit more than we wanted. 
Han Zhong is collecting taxes? Why did I build this? Wait, why did I build this building? I mean, we're out of things to build, but this probably wouldn't be the best choice. I think administrative office is probably a better choice. Yeah, I think we're going to demolish this. This can still be upgraded. We're running out of cash. Shou Feng. Uh, this is not an income commandery. Oh, this is private workshop. We want this upgraded. Lodge. We want tea, so we'll wait. Not the right builds. I think we can hold Taiyuan. I think we'll just build a marketplace here. Uh, we can't build private workshop. We gotta wait for the town to upgrade. Wow, we're so poor. We're so very, very poor. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go to the next turn. Alright, sure see a peaced out Kingdom of Wu. That's okay. Not a big development. Friends. Well, don't be so sad when she dies. Okay, so Cao Cao's forces are moving down. I think the reason is because even though Liu Bei peaced out and is our vassal, he was not at war with uh, Cao Cao. So he is not at war with them right now so he can't be attacked so right now they're just coming down to attack us which makes sense um, we can ask Liu Bei to fight for us but his armies are all over here so there's no reason for that to happen right now We probably don't need to take this town right away. It's probably better if we sit still, let the mustering take effect, and start healing while they come closer to us so we can fight them. We need to protect this Emperor's seat here. Let's try to upgrade this a little bit more. Um... This... Probably an inn? Let's see if there's anything more urgent with 2,000 gold. I would like to upgrade all these, but we can't afford it for the adjacency bonus. 3,000. Right, we're poor. That's it. That's all our income. We gotta fight for more income. Alright, this army now needs to find an enemy. Sun Quan, maybe. Maybe they need to join the cavalry army down south. It's a little thin down south. We might need to summon a new army down south as well. But going down this mountain path is a no no. We should come out. We should join Lu Bu. We probably don't need to march, but it might be better if we do march though. Let's come out of the valley this way. Yeah, this is probably the smartest way. Right. Okay. Let's see. Who leveled up? Tall Pete? Ah, oh, good boy. There were some suggestions of marrying him to Sun Ren. Seems like a viable plan. We could definitely try that. Alright, the problem is they're ambushed over here. And Yuan Yao is just really not making an effort defending. I think there's another ambush here too. I think the second we move, we fall into their ambush. In that case, we should just let them fall into our ambush. All right, we should just sit in the city. Let them come towards us. Over here... I don't know why we can't ambush here. Is it because we can't ambush around the city zone? Or... Okay, now we can. Okay, that should work. Well, then I don't want to be so far away from the city. Right, hold on. 
Then we literally just want to be next to the city. And we can't anymore. It's, it's, I think it's got to be the city zone. It's because it's not our city. That's fine. We can always have the option to retreat. They're resting. They're resting. They're not resting. We got enemies on the ground here. Alright, let's see if we can win this fight. They have one, two, three, three spear units. That's not a lot. Our all cav can actually take them, I think. Just that after we take them, we get we have to fight them off too. Maybe it's better if we pull back a little bit. How much is the ambush right here? 70%. Maybe we should just ambush. We can just ambush in place. Force them to make a decision. I like our chances with our ambush value. Alright, we're just ambushing in place everywhere. And we spend all our money for that. Uh, diplomatically, can we do anything? Trade? No, no trade route with our new vassals. Peace. How much? Too much. Uh, let's see who else. Tall Tall. We can we can beat him up a little bit first, and then he'd be giving us a good deal. Nope. They're so weak. I don't want to pay them for anything. Can they pay us for this? Ooh. Give us a little bit of gold. You guys are loaded. Yeah, still loaded. What was I thinking? 96? Nope. 95? There we go. I kind of want to vassalize Shusia as well. He's not willing to negotiate, but we can ask him this way. Wow, okay, he doesn't want to. I don't know if that's going to help us. That's not bad. We can spend some points. We're at 64. We're pretty at a pretty good place. I kind of want his last spice. It's somewhere here. Wait, he has one more spice. We, we don't border it? I guess we don't. Okay. It's right here. Wait. Uh, is it right here? Where is the last spice? I thought it's this one. We do border it. Why can't we get it? Oh, Kingdom of Wu. Never mind. My bad. All right, we got that. Should we just steal his son for the fun of it? We can probably just steal his son for the fun of it. Just give me a second. I want to see if I give him one food. It's 15 points. Yeah, it's going to be better off this way. 125 points. That's insane. Now we're going to give him one food, steal his son and whatever items on him. Hopefully some good items. And also get military access. Let's see if the son has any good thing. Where is he? Oh, he's not. Oh, he's not. In, you can't see him on this yet. Until next turn. But we can see him on the family tree. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Is it because we're Empire now? He has some items. Okay, it's worthwhile. We got two items. Not good items, but it's fine. What happened to our court? Is this because of the new patch? I think this is the effect of the new patch. We lost our council. Or maybe because of we're Empire. Because it was fine when it just got patched. 
but now that we're empire it doesn't have the right structure because it should be like what you have with uh, Liu Hong's faction interesting well there goes our bonuses that kind of blows uh, but we're okay we can survive all right let's just go next turn all right, we have a successful ambush uh, that we're just going to delegate right here. That's the whole point. There we go. It's on our territory, so we get to replenish, and they don't. We captured all three. Okay, Zhang Ba. Uh, pretty good. He's very young. That's what I like. We can grab him. She has a horse. She's old. We can also just grab her for the horse. I don't want to kill anyone because I don't want to piss off Yuan Shao. I still want to get that peace deal. Oh, Yuan Shang, his son. Okay. We'll, we'll recruit all three. He's willing to work for us because he hated his dad because they have too many sons and they have a rivalry thing going on. Employ, employ, employ. We will actually take cash. I do need the cash. Alright, we also ambushed. Oh, crap. So for this fight, we're favored, but not auto win. Uh, so we have to fight this. It's doable, especially on an ambush trail. Uh, let's do it. Yeah, no range, no excuses. Just gotta play smart here. Let's go. All right, we're loaded up in here. This is an actual ambush battle that I think we should win. Uh, their two G units are up here, so we don't really have to worry about it. We just have to get everyone charging at the right target and we should just destroy them technically. Um, I think we should put our slightly weaker unit here in the back. Uh, we need it. Hmm. We needed her to command the army to get formations. Forgot about that. I think the idea is we use these melee against these infantry. And then for these guys, we crush their cavalry with better cavalry. They only have one good general. Oh, he has the Imperial Seal. And a eunuch. Okay, they're really living the Emperor lifestyle there. I think our general will just swarm their uh, strategist, Lu Su, over here. Perfect. He's level what? Level 4. We can kill him quickly. Alright, so 2, 3. Alright, we just gotta somehow get everyone clicked on the right part at the beginning. Let's go and then we'll charge this group out okay hold on hold on guys uh five S let's do one so one will charge at this guy right here or maybe just this guy and then five will charge at this guy we'll just cut them off in half basically and then two, I will click by itself. Doesn't make sense, but all right, makes sense if I do six. But there's so many, I would like not be able to control them. Anyways, we'll try our best. Uh, let's start. Uh, let's see, one, cut them off. Uh, five, cut them off. Four, kill Lu Su. Decline. Running the wrong way. Alright. We got this. We gotta charge everyone back. That way we can face them together. 
Can we get him killed quickly? Well, I guess he's routed. It's fine. Alright. We want to line everyone up. And then get a nice devastating charge on them. Three. Hide. Four. Five. Alright. We need to get a flank on the side units. Alright, let's kill them first. Six, five. We got Swinsilla, don't worry. Six. Alright. Need help on the main side. Just gotta get him killed. Alright, that's fine. Another roar should do it. Side flank. There we go. We, we got Swim Slow. Alright, don't charge into the, the Z Militia. We want them to engage. And then charge when they're not braced. We got this. Alright. Cavalry is kind of OP in ambush battle, I have to say. Also depends on the enemy comp. They just didn't have enough spear units to fight us. Alright, he lost too much health. Gotta get him out. Alright, got this. Just gotta finish off this group. They're negative 86, 87 morale. I don't know how they're still standing. Alright, now we won. I'm gonna chase down these Z Militia, just so we don't have to fight them again. That wasn't so bad. Let us get the Imperial Seal, please. Ah, oh, nope. Intimidation. Hold my breath for that. Oh, I got the eunuch. No, so close. Uh, we will take... Cash. Alright, so the three armies of Corlons attacking our one army here. Also sieging the city. We're just gonna pull back. Because I don't think Corlons army who's sieging have tribuche, so they have to wait a turn. And we can pick them off with night battle. Uh, starting next turn, so we just gotta retreat for now. Alright, so new turn. Uh, we captured Officer Spy Dispatch. Okay. Living in harmony, sure thing. Okay, so we're gonna end our episode. Uh, very productive, I feel like. We basically turned Liu Bei into an ally. The map looked very different. Still way too red, uh, but that's fine. Down south, uh, we have Sun Tzu's army still on the field, I think. We'll give them a turn so Sun Tzu comes back. And we'll fight them again. Uh, we're going to be able to heal up uh, doing so. They also have another army in the river. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere over here. We just got to be careful not to run into both of them. And over here, Lü Bu has a lot of toy to play with. Uh, Sa Houdun, once again, is facing off with Lü Bu. Uh, we're not that healthy, but we're close to full health and uh, he doesn't really have an army uh, to support him he does have this army right here but we can probably we can probably fight both of them because the trebuchet in here will be slow to reinforce so it's better if we drag him in and then we'll just clean up both of this army and then he won't be a threat Taimal is not a threat Nayan is not a threat and then we'll just wipe out Tal Tal and then 
force them into a peace deal or we can just wipe them off once and for all so bo both will work um playing pretty diplomatically this time just to ease a lot of pressure because you don't want to fight you know so many ai armies at you at the same time uh, we did beat back Yuan Shao's army here with an ambush. All we have to do is clean up the other two armies. There should be one more still ambushing over here, so they're sneaky. We gotta play slow. Over here, they finally show their cards, and they're kind of scattered. So we can definitely go and uh, pick them off one by one with night battles and turn the situation around over here. They're far away from home. They can't replenish, so we just gotta shatter them in the field. Other than that, pretty optimistic. Uh, we might recruit another army down south, or we can just swing Lu Bu and Suren's army down south once we clean up the central plains a little bit. These are just small factions, uh, not very strong. If we look at ownership, right, Tai Mao has some pieces. We can easily wipe him out. Huang Zhu is not very strong, and uh, Cao Cao is not very strong. And then Liu Dai, Kong Zhou. All the small factions survive, so they're all very, very weak. Um, they're all Yuan Shao's vassals, too, so if we can... Uh, push him out and then force a peace deal with him. We'll be piecing out with most of them as well. And then we can just turn our focus onto the capital here. Uh, beat back enough of uh, Sun Jian's armies, we will be able to abdicate them once they see no hope, and then we'll just easily win this campaign. And we can move on with more uh, fun Mandate of Heaven uh, material. Uh, but I'll be uh, putting stuff out for both of them. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish this campaign before the official release. I'm um, slightly more optimistic after today. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye.